you in the car on Friday, we asked you, is Mr. Melnick your attorney? You said he is not my attorney. I haven't talked to him. This is so messed up, man. Lil Woody said, no, I never said he's not my attorney. I said I haven't talked to him. Boy, this is just messed up, man. If the defense were in there, they would have they would have killed her from saying this. I mean, listen to what she's saying. If you confess to murder on the stand, if we don't have any other independent evidence from outside. So she's basically saying you don't have full immunity if we don't have any other independent evidence. So you can say what you want. But if I happen to walk by the corner store and we find a gun out there that has your fingerprints on it, then. Hey, sorry, Woody, you might uh, you might go to jail for that. And little Woody's a smart. He's a smart guy. He sees right through this. This is crazy, man. This is a uh, wow. Just uh, no wonder a little Woody just switched and is given Simone Hilton our district assistant district attorney Hilton such trouble. I don't know what was communicated to you on Friday. I have no idea. But what the state has assured you, which I have assured you in our private conversations with Mr. Long, as I'm saying in front of Miss Bumpus, as I told you, that is what the order says. The court says, and that is direct or cross examination. Miss Hilton says, and that is direct or cross examination. Judge Glanville says, so if you are worried about what the defendants may ask you because they may know your business, but if they ask you about things that you might think you might have some liability with, you can't be prosecuted for any of those. Lil Woody says, I got family members watching this trial. I don't want my nephew and them to hear the things that I may be involved in. And I think it's okay. Shout out to Woody for that. Miss Hilton said, but I think that's a separate conversation you can have with them as an honest individual. Like, look, nephews, I've done live. I've done live the life that I don't want you to live. Don't go through what I've been through. But that but that's not blank. That's something that you can have outside of being in jail because that's a better conversation you can have with your nephews in person. <laughs> She's definitely an attorney. But they shouldn't have come they shouldn't have to come to DeKalb County Jail because you are being held in contempt. You can have that conversation with your nephews tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. In person, you can have that conversation with them. You can have that conversation with anybody. <laughs> that's the, that's not true either. Boy, she is just lying like crazy. Like you can't just walk around here having conversations about an. Oh, oh man, Samal, this this is disappointing. You can have that conversation with anybody. You can go on YouTube and talk about Little Woody. It's all good, man. You know what's coming up this weekend? Why are we in jail? What are we doing? Little Woody says, but y'all did this intentionally. That's a fact, Little Woody. Miss Hilton said, no, we didn't. You and I had this conversation, Little Woody, on Friday morning. Little Woody said, you knew my child's birthday was next week. Oh, he missed his child's birthday. Uh, Miss Hilton said, excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Miss <clears throat> Hilton said, but what did I tell you? When we met with each other, I said to you something. You asked me, what is the one thing that's going to get me in jail? Didn't you ask me that? And what was my response? If you plead the fifth. And that is exactly what you did on the stand. Now, he plead the fifth because he didn't want to testify. But the problem was. They granted him immunity and he can't he can't plead the fifth after you've been granted immunity like that's getting something for nothing uh, on the prosecution side. So they, that's great. That would be crazy for them to do. So you got to pick one or the other. You can't have immunity and plead the fifth. You can plead the fifth and then they throw you in jail for being possession of a gun or for having someone buy a gun for you. You don't get it all, little Woody. <clears throat> 
Lil Woody says, but what did I tell you before I got to that point? I told you the whole time, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he probably says. And she said, but I told you we were giving you immunity. Miss Hilton said, but I told you we were giving you immunity. Lil Woody said, and I told you I was pleading the fifth. She said, no, you did it. And he said, I told you every day I was planning on pleading the fifth. She said, no, you didn't. And we told you something. Lil Woody said, I told you my concern. And Ms. Hilton said, and we said we could give you immunity. You said your concern is what they know about you. And when you said that, I said, well, you know stuff about them. And then I said, whatever your concerns are, we can give you immunity. Lil Woody said, so I didn't tell you I lied to them to get myself out of the situation. Ms. Hilton said, you said you were a liar. That's what you said. You said you were a liar. Miss Bumpus says, was this recorded? Miss Hilton says, no. Nah, we were just texting. Miss Bumpus says, and did he ever say that Melnick was his attorney? Miss Hilton said, no. This week, something, when we met you in the car on Friday, we asked you, is Mr. Melnick your attorney? You said, he is not my attorney. I haven't talked to him. This is so messed up, man. Lil Woody said, no, I never said he's not my attorney. I said, I haven't talked to him. Uh Uh-oh, looks like ADA Hilton, she's going to get in trouble too. For that's, that's a fact. She was doing some dirty, low down shady stuff and that's a great question that kayla asked here too was this recorded where was his lawyer and so and Simone's like i don't know i mean he said he didn't have a lawyer whatever god miss hilton says you said he's not your attorney you haven't talked to him then we continue to have a conversation at no point did you ever say hey i want mr melnick here hey put mr melnick on the phone little woody said you didn't make me feel like I needed him. Miss Hilton said, but if you needed him, we would have said, if you if you would have needed Mr. Melnick, we would have said to you, okay, just call him. So, I mean, that is our position. Yeah, so you can just give somebody immunity without their attorney. <clears throat> oh, maybe I'm missing something. This is wild. We don't want you in jail. All right. We just want you to be able to purge yourself by testifying. Whatever your truth is what your truth is. But you've got to answer the questions. We believe that your truth, whatever your truth is, is what your truth is. We know what you said before. Mm. I don't know what you're going to say on the stand, but what we know is pleading the fifth is going to keep you in custody. That's what I know. Now, how you answer your questions is how you answer your questions. All right. So she's giving him a little bit of an out here. She's saying, hey, if you want to say, I don't recall. If you want to say, what you mean? If you want to say, huh? What? Then that's answering the question. All right. So (laughs) just you get a little leeway there, which is nice on her part. Uh, she also says to Lil Woody, I know what you said before, and I know what you said later. I mean, I know what you said before, and I don't know what you are going to say on the stand because you and I never went into full details about any of this. But what I don't know, but I'm sorry, but what I don't want is you to be sitting here in custody. All right. And Lil Woody says, well, you did it. You locked me up. Miss Hilton said, I did not. You did it by pleading the fifth. Lil Woody said, you told me before you went to the judge with whatever. With whatever the thing is called, you went to him with. You told me that I can't. When I'm asked a question, I can say I don't recall or I don't know. (laughs) So she (laughs) she lied again. Cause she just said, we didn't go into full detail about any of it. And she said, 
I don't know what you're going to stay on the stand because we never went to full detail. And then little Woody said, well, hold up now. You told me before you went to the judge with whatever the thing was you called and went to him with, which was the immunity. You told me that when I'm asked the question, I could say, I don't recall or I don't know. And Simone said, hey, we never talked about it. Lies, lies, lies. You told me that if I plead the fifth, I mean something, why would I plead the fifth to something I ain't do? And I said that you don't know what I did and what I ain't do. And then you said, and then you was like something. And then y'all asked for this immunity. And I was like, it was something. And then Friday, Thursday or Friday came. And then y'all, y'all go tell me, oh, we want the judge. We want, we went to the judge with this. So you got to testify. If you don't testify, the judge going to lock you up. Dang. Wow. Miss Hilton said, right. But that was based upon what you said. I'm guessing Lil Woody said, but I told y'all that she said, no, you didn't Lil Woody said, you said, why would I plead the fifth to something I didn't do? And I said, you don't know what happened. Mm. ADA Hilton said, and I said, I don't know what happened. Only, you know, only, only you, only you know, and them know. I said, but you never said I am pleading the fifth. Oh, lawyer ease, man is, is strong with this one. You said, what if I do this? What if I do this? What if I do this? Lil Woody said, I told you. I said, I'm going to plead the fifth. You said, why would you plead the fifth to something that you didn't do? And little Woody is 100% correct. He said, he said this several times. And she even repeated it. 